Understanding Freeze One's Fingers, a guide to English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're exploring an interesting phrase, freeze one's fingers. Whether you're braving a cold winter or just curious about English idioms, you're in the right place. Let's unravel the meaning and usage of this chilly expression together. Freeze one's fingers is a phrase that paints a vivid picture. At its most literal, it describes the physical sensation of one's fingers becoming extremely cold, to the point of discomfort or numbness, usually due to exposure to cold weather without proper protection. However, beyond its literal meaning, this phrase rarely ventures into metaphorical territory. It's a straightforward expression used to communicate the direct experience of cold affecting one's hands. To fully grasp how to use, freeze one's fingers, let's look at some example sentences. I forgot my gloves and ended up freezing my fingers while scraping the ice off my car. Make sure to wear your mittens, or you'll freeze your fingers out there in the snow. After an hour of playing in the snow, my daughter complained that she had frozen her fingers. These sentences show the phrase in action, emphasizing the importance of context, primarily cold weather, for its use. Since freeze one's fingers highlights an uncomfortable experience, let's talk about how to prevent it. Wear appropriate gloves or mittens. Choose ones with insulation suitable for your area's winter temperatures. Keep moving. Movement helps maintain circulation in your extremities, including your fingers. Stay dry. Wet hands are more likely to feel colder, so ensure your gloves are waterproof if you'll be touching snow or ice. Understanding these tips can help avoid the literal sensation that this phrase describes, keeping you comfortable during the cold months. And that wraps up our exploration of freeze one's fingers. We hope this video has warmed your understanding of this chilly phrase and that you're better equipped to use it in your English conversations. Remember, learning idioms is a great way to add color to your language skills. Stay warm, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video.